an interesting report that's just come in. It's from the Audit Commission, who, who scrutinise areas of public policy, and it's about road safety. I mean, this is a subject I've raised in the House of Commons before, and it is a huge problem. That something like 3,000 people a year get killed on the roads, and many, many more serious accidents. It is, for the large part, preventable. This is, for the most part, caused by dangerous driving, not involving alcohol, because most deaths and serious accidents on the roads are caused by sober drivers. But above all, it's caused by dangerous driving, things like overtaking on a bend. And actually, interestingly, when I held a debate in the House of Commons some years ago now about this, I did some research which showed that overwhelmingly it is young, under 24, male drivers who are sober, who are responsible for the great bulk of the accidents. This is testosterone that causes most of the accidents and serious injuries on the roads, nothing else. And we ought to be able to do something about it. I mean, the human tragedies that I've seen among constituents is just unbearable, caused needless suffering, and it costs the economy something like £8 billion a year, this sort of accidents. Now, we'll never eradicate them completely, but I do think we can do a lot better. And I do think that maybe this report that's just come in from the Audit Commission may help continue to change attitudes towards this. We need tougher penalties, we need much more education. I'd like to see a much fuller driving test trying to educate particularly young men about the dangers of driving so carelessly and recklessly.